Ah, fresh meat. So Diablo 4 is out. That's good. Except you have to pay 140 bucks to play it like four days early. Ooh, that's bad. The great news is that it's couch co-op. That's good. The problem is that the couch co-op doesn't work all that well. That's bad. But if you come with me over here, I'll show you how to get it working. First step is to find an appropriately aged Diablo 4 player. Just as a side note, you probably shouldn't let kids play this game. It is pretty violent. In saying that, I did play Mortal Kombat when I was a kid, and I turned out okay. Get over here! <laughs> hey kid, I think I'm gonna have to swap you out with mummy. Sorry. Boop. Are you my player too? All right, so here we are, Diablo 4. Press start, login is my profile. This is on Xbox, uh, but uh, it's a similar sort of setup for, for the PlayStation as well. And then we'll connect to the servers and I'm going to show you how co-op functions. Uh, it's not as straightforward as you think. Uh, there are a couple little quirks here. Uh, so if we get my player to now to just go ahead and press start on their controller, you'll see in the top right hand corner it says player two may only join after player one has entered the game, which is fine. That makes sense. So I'm going to log in. I've got a level 11 barbarian here logging in. Now is a good time to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hope you enjoyed that little intro I put together. It was uh, it was good fun. Just really difficult to get a two-year-old to follow your instructions. Okay, so here we are in uh, Kyovishad, if that's how you pronounce it, and you can see that I'm by myself. We're now gonna go ahead and get our lovely player two to press start. Login is their profile. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, it says logging into Battle.net. So they still have to go through the same process as we do, which means that it is absolutely online for them, just as it is for us. And you'll notice there in the bottom right hand corner, it says none of your characters are eligible to join the game. Now my wife has already made a character. Uh, however, she hasn't uh, been able to join the game and we don't know why that is. It just simply doesn't explain. It says that they're not eligible. Uh, so if we go ahead now and try and get my wife to create a character by pressing Y, you'll see the screen here uh, that lets them go through the process, lets her go through the process of, of selecting a character. But we're not gonna do that because uh, nothing's gonna happen. She won't be able to play as any of those characters with me. Instead, we're going to press B to go back. And I am going to go ahead and quit out of the game. Now, because this is technically a form of early access, because it's only for people that have the Ultimate or the Deluxe Edition, I imagine that this quirk is going to be resolved, at least I hope it is. Uh, if it isn't, then this is the way that you'll be able to get around it uh, uh, upon release as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new character. Uh, I'm not going to take too long doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a necromancer. Go ahead and select a face. That'll do. Finalize. No hardcore. We'll call them test. Why not, huh? And I'm going to go ahead and start the game. Doesn't matter if it's tier one or tier two, as far as I can tell. Uh, the difference between tier one and tier two, by the way, is just the, the difficulty level, how much experience, how much money you get, tier two being the, the higher one. Here's the opening cutscene. We're going to skip through that. And boom, there right at the beginning, I am by myself. You'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, it'll say P2 is connected. Press the uh, start button to join. What that button's called? A hamburger button. Menu button, not sure on Xbox. Anyway, same deal as before queued, logging into Diablo 4. Now you can see there that there is a level one character. If you go ahead and press A. And the reason that this works is because you both have to complete the prologue together. One other handy thing to mention is that you only need a, a single copy of this game or a single license of this game to be able to play it uh, in, in couch co-op. And from what I understand, this is unique to consoles. This isn't something that PC players are, are able to do. Uh, in saying that, uh, my wife would have the ability to be able to load up the game and play it by herself using the license on my home Xbox or home PlayStation, uh, as long as it is set to your home device. Uh, and then she can go ahead and proceed through the prologue. Uh, and then once that's done, could technically run around with my level 11 barbarian that you saw before. Uh, but that's it. That's how you get into co-op. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, it works very well. It's just not well explained. Uh, and I imagine that, again, this is something that they're, they're going to go ahead and change. 
Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you in the game. Bye. Ooh.